is magnificent. And Angela Page for Wilkinson. King Tarui. The strike. Oh my goodness. That is one of the. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Lawton Park, the home of Lang Warren Soccer Club, for this NPL2 Victoria clash between Lang Warren and the Eastern Lions. My name is Oliver Walker Peel, stepping in for Lockie Flanagan, who unfortunately is unwell, and we send his best regards to Lockie. Of course, he is the voice of Lang Warren. And now with Golding, he's looking for Kelly. But George can recycle things. Young's on the left, rolls it inboard. Kelly on the turn, forces a save from Keegan Coulter. Youngs, did he stay on side? Flag stays down. Tom Youngs, well saved by Keegan Coulter. Chopped onto his right, but all over the top, looking for Youngs on the Langy left. Good first touch. Was he brought down illegally? He was. And Lang Warren have got a penalty. It's Youngs, it's saved by Coulter. And so Sammy Orrit, at the home of his former club, gets a reprieve. It was a good save in fairness from Keegan Coulter and a massive chance for Lange to go in front. He's missed. High ball, allowed to bounce. These lines get in behind here. They might have the chance. It breaks for Carter Ramsey, who, with one of the final meaningful kicks of the half, surely puts the Eastern Lions in front. He did expertly well, in fairness to him, to keep his feet. And when he got into the position to shoot, he absolutely lashed it past James Burgess, beat him at his near post, and after withstanding so much pressure throughout this first half, it looks to be the Eastern Lions who will go into the break in front. As it stands, Lang Warren would leave this game empty handed and in that case would walk away with three straight defeats from their last three games. Could be a chance for them to equalize here, McPhee. It's awful for the Eastern Lions. But it's a goal that Archie McPhee will take. And Lang Warren desperately needed that. Out of nothing, they draw level. And you can't give Archie McPhee an inkling. Because if you do, he will punish you. And punish the Eastern Lions he just has. Back to level pegging here at Lawton Park. Golding. Blumenthal. Rolling it forward, Minfar cutting it back, could be a real chance, Youngs! Was denied from the spot, wasn't to be denied from there. In off the post, and those Langy fans behind the goal echo the sentiment of Langy fans all around. Youngs does get his goal, and Langy do now have the lead. Who in turn has it taken away from him by Blumenthal. Intelligent ball forward. Could be a chance for three. And again, Keegan Coulter there when needed most for his team. He's made a couple of absolutely stellar saves. And that one could be added to the list. Winning the ball back for his team. Sim, Portelli brings his man down. He's already into the book. And two yellow cards will equal a red. I think he knew as soon as he made the challenge that he was about to be given his marching orders and after receiving a yellow card in the first half, a second spells the end of Lucas Portelli's night. The end Alex of not to send the ball into the box. Sim. Nishikawa floats it in towards the back post. Flicked on. 
High ball towards the back post, and it's scrambled home. It's scrambled home. A high ball that Burgess couldn't quite get to. Jack Camper was wheeling away. It may well have been him who got the final touch. And it's two apiece as we head towards second half stoppage time. And Lang Warren might not be able to rectify those statistics and a wait for a win may go on. As so they go down the right hand side, Zacharias down the line, sent into the middle, high ball towards Camper again. He couldn't have a brace, could he? He almost did. Somehow parried away by Burgess, who was able to deal with that one. And what a crucial save that could be in the context of things. Rolled it forward, Sim. Look at Subos. Send it into the middle. Could it break for Ramsey? It's through the hands of Burgess. And the Eastern Lions may well have just found a winner. Carter Ramsey at the double and a remarkable game of football may well have just had the most remarkable conclusion. A goal down entering second half stoppage time. A goal up inside it now and the Eastern Lions from absolutely nowhere may well have just turned zero points into three in the blink of an eye. It's cruel from a laggy point of view. But as soon as the Eastern Lions drew level, you could just tell they were going to go and try and win it. They want it. That's the real question. Rolled left. Camper, whose goal kick started it all. Whistle to the mouth. And the Eastern Lions have won this game. And if you'd have been told that six or seven minutes ago, you would have scarcely believed it. But they have done.